guys, what's up? I'm Mark and welcome to Epic Confections. This week I'm going to be making a creepy, grotesque, murderous teddy bear. Let's do it! So to start, I baked off four 9-inch round chocolate cakes, two round 6-inch chocolate cakes, two 4-inch round chocolate cakes, and four cupcakes. You're going to want to keep all of your cake scraps in a separate bowl because we're going to be using them later. So I'm just going to level out these cakes, stack them up, fill them with buttercream, let's do it. So I place the cake at the back of the board so that there's room for his feet. This is gonna be his body and I'm just gonna carve it into a little bit of a circular shape here. So I'm just gonna give this a quick crumb coat of chocolate buttercream icing, stick a dowel in there and then put it into the fridge for about 30 minutes to chill. So next I'm going to be carving out my two 6 inch round cakes for the head. No need to make a joke there. I'm going to leave the top on one because it's already a rounded edge and I'm just going to take the top off the other. I'm gonna give this a quick crumb coat, stick it in the fridge for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna stack my cake. So I just realized that I kinda of want the bottom of the cake to kinda of curve in like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start carving that again. I totally forgot. Oops. So I decided because this bear is so creepy and grotesque, I want to be able to rip off his face and have like a really creepy skull exposed. So I went into the old Halloween box in the closet and I found a plastic skull. So what I'm going to do is just cut out the face, carve a little bit into the cake and stick the face on. Normally, I would probably do this with white modeling chocolate. I would put the white modeling chocolate right over top of the face let it harden, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I have the template of the skull right on the head. And outline that template here. And I'm just gonna carve a little bit into the cake so that the face can sit in the cake. So I just took my bear out of the freezer, it's been about 20-25 minutes. Next I'm going to be using the cake scraps that you saved and I'm going to be molding his arms. You're just going to take that cake and add a little bit of buttercream and mush it all up. You can either do this in the mixer or by hand. So 
So you want the cake to have a consistency where it's nice and sticky, but you don't want it too wet because then it will just crumble on you. Once that is all mixed up, throw it into the fridge for about 20 minutes. So next I'm going to be making his little feet and I have two four inch round cakes and two chocolate cupcakes. So I'm just trimming down the sides of the four inch cake. They are a little big, so I'm just rounding them out. So I'm going to give that a quick crumb coat on his legs and then I'm going to stick it back into the freezer. So now I'm going to add his arms and then I'm going to really freeze him and throw him in the freezer for about 45 minutes. So you just want to roll out two balls of the same size. Normally there's one larger than the other. But in this case, they're going to be the same size. Just hold those balls in your hand, you know. God, I love balls. This is my teddy bear's face, the face that he's gonna rip off. So I'm going to be making his teeth out of white chocolate, so I just melted down some white chocolate and I'm going to be putting it in a disposable piping bag and just making some teeth on parchment paper, letting them dry and then sticking them in his mouth. So now that I finished up some details on the face of the bear and put it in the fridge to chill, I'm going to ice this guy now. Let's do it! So I went ahead and added the pads to his feet. I brushed them a little bit with paint just to make them look like they were all scuffed up and worn and I even picked off a little bit of the fondant. So next I'm going to take a mixture of cherry filling and strawberry filling and just paint a little bit on his face and then I'm going to apply his face.
guys, here is the terrifying teddy bear. Thank you so much to Mariposa Market for sponsoring this video. So if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new videos every single week. Let's take off his face.